Welcome, Outrounds. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing Nebula from Guardians of the Galaxy, and I'm super excited to do this one. I've been wanting to do Guardians of the Galaxy looks since the first one, but I didn't because I don't know why. I really want to do Groot, which I might do in my next painting. Um, that just seems really hard, so I'm going to do Nebula. It seems a little easier. Her little eyepiece, I'm probably going to mess up on. I'm probably going to do it kind of like meh because I'm not quite... I don't remember quite how it looks, and I can look up reference photos, but they're kind of hard to see. Um, but yeah, other than that, I just want to get painting, so let's go. If you guys hear that noise, there is yard work going on outside this window. Sorry. So, like I always do, I took my white eyeliner pencil and roughly sketched out my design. I used reference photos to help me kind of place where I wanted things to go, and that's about it. Next, I took this lavender purple color from Mayron, and I filled in the middle section of my face, avoiding the top part where some silver metal plates are, and the sides where it's going to be blue, and also the eye section. Next, I took this light blue color from Mayron and filled in these sides of my face, avoiding on the one side the eye section where the metal piece is going to be. Next, I'm taking silver from Mayron and I filled in the eye section as well as filling in the forehead section. This is all going to be just the base and then I'll add detail into it later. I'm also dragging the colors the purple, the silver, the blue, all of it into my hair because she's actually bald but I don't have a wig cap so I painted in my hair. Next I'm taking a black body paint from Mayron and I'm just going to outline everything kind of giving it a light line, well actually it's a pretty thick line, just to detail everything out and make it stand out from one another, dragging the color down my face and splitting up the purple and the blue, splitting up the silver and the other colors. I'm also going to go into that silver eye section and just start detailing some lines out. It's kind of hard to add shadow on top of the silver for some reason, so I'm adding lines with the body paint and just going to go from there. Next, I'm taking a dark blue eyeshadow from my Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette and I'm going to be adding it to the edges where the purple and the blue meet, right where that black line is, and I'm going to blend it out into the blue. I'm also taking a smidgen of a light blue and blending it out even more, kind of giving it a more gradient look, as well as adding a tiny bit of black anywhere I felt like it needed just a tiny bit more of a shadow. I'm also taking that black body paint and adding another line where the eye is out towards the side of my face because she has more lines. I should have added actually even more lines like this into her, but I didn't for some reason. I don't know why. I'm also taking that dark blue eyeshadow and contouring my cheeks quite significantly, actually. And I'm also shadowing underneath that same, the line by my eye the same way I did with the line going down the center of my face. Then I'm taking a dark purple eyeshadow and I'm taking that underneath the silver section to make it look like the silver part sitting on top of my head as well. And in any parts that I felt like it needed it, I took a little bit of black and deepened up the shadow. I'm also taking that blue and putting it underneath and around that eye section so it looks like the eye plate is actually casting a shadow onto her skin. With that I'm taking different colors of blue and a little bit of black and even some purple in some spots where it needs the purple. And of course going down the other side of my face with that same blue gradient. And again I'm contouring the other cheek as well. Taking a detailed brush and some more of that black body paint as well as some black eyeshadow and deal, deal. Mm. I'm detailing inside of that um, eyepiece even more than I did before, just kind of adding more character to it, adding more detail and dimension. My lines on this aren't perfect, um, I couldn't really get a good picture of how the eyepiece actually looks so I just kind of made it look like I remembered it being which is a little crazy. I also went ahead and took some of that black body paint and gave myself a wing that attached to that side line on the other side and then I just added a little wing on the side with the eyepiece. I also took that black and filled in my brow. Her brow isn't black I don't believe but that's just what I used. Taking a little bit of dark purple eyeshadow I'm going to be contouring my nose so that it sticks out a little bit so her face has a little bit more dimension and more shape to it. I 
And then taking a little bit of that same purple, I'm going to be going on the outside of my lips, kind of like a lip liner, and blending the color inwards because she's not wearing lipstick, but her lips do stick out. Next, I'm moving on to the body, so I took my white eyeliner pencil and I just sketched out her clothes. And the clothes, again, aren't really perfect. I was actually just looking at somebody's cosplay costume to kind of get a better idea. And this is a little simplified compared to how she actually looks. Taking that purple, I ran it down the center of my neck. And then taking the blue, I ran it on the sides of the neck. I took the same purple that I used on the center of my face and added a collar to the shirt. As well as dragging the color down on the sides near my armpits almost and filling in these little lines that she has. Then I filled in the base of the shirt with a dark purple body paint from Mayron. Purples are a little streaky so you might need to add a few coats. And she also has dark purple pieces on her shoulder part that I filled in. Then I used this maroon colored paint from Mayron and filled in the other section, attaching it to that purple shoulder piece. Then on one side, I filled in my arm with blue because that is her arm that is still there. And then on the other side, I filled it in with silver because she has a robot arm on that side. I then filled in the other section of my shirt that I didn't fill in yet with silver because she has like a mesh looking part right there that has almost like a silver feel to it so I just filled it in silver. Then I took a majority of different colored eyeshadows whether it be purple or pink or blue or whatever I needed to do to shadow and add contour and contrast. I also took a little bit of black body paint on a detailed brush and added some lines just to split up things a little bit more as well as taking a smidgen of black eyeshadow all around the whole body as well as any other colors again that went with what I needed it to be and just made the clothes look a little bit more real. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun making this one and I hope you guys enjoyed watching me paint it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me any other ideas for my art related projects and I shall see you guys next time.